Hello students, how are you? Hope you all are doing very well. And let's start to discuss switch case statements for C programming language. A oh, very important part of C programming. Let's start. So what is switch case? What are switch statements, right? A switch statement allows a variable to be tested for equality against a list of values. Switch statements allows us to execute one code block among many alternatives. Each value is called a case. Once the case match is found, a block of a statement associated with that particular case is executed. Just like similar to if else block, if else letter. Let's say if you have many choices, right? That if that choice is there, you will execute that block of code. Let's say if choice A is there, you are going to execute that that block of code. If your choice is B, you are going to execute that code of block. If your choice is C, you are going to execute that code of block. And if your choice is D, you are going to execute that code of block, right? So uh, if uh, such kind of situation is there, then it is better to use switch case statement because in if else loop, if uh, so many cases are there, decisions are more, then it might get somewhat uh, greater complexity, right? That is why we use switch. Switch means if you can uh, easily see the syntax here from this, you can get it better. Switch uh, here expression should be it, it given to the uh, these braces. The expressions must be in the term of constant, right? It may be any letter like A or capital A in uppercase, smaller case. It may be any number, right? But it is constant always. Now, then uh, case constant expression is there. Let's say if we are uh, uh, switch case expression is given, then whatever expression uh, that that want to get will be it, uh, match equality against so many cases, right? The basic syntax is case con uh, constant expression. If this case is true, let's say here A is there and here case A is there, right? So A and MHS. So the statements that are given here would be executed. Thereafter, we have break means the switch case statement would end here. And uh, we will go to the next part of the program, right? So similarly, if you can see here, let's say here case nine means if expression is nine, it can match with this expression, right? In that case, let's say here eight is there, case eight. So it would not match. So it would go to next case. That is case nine. Likewise, any case may be there. So if it is true, whatever block of code is here, whatever block of statements are here that are going to be executed thereafter, break statement is here. It is written that it is optional. Optional means let's say if we are not using break here, then other statements, which is at the bottom side of that uh, that uh, part would always be executed until and unless we, we, we got break, right? Let's say, uh, let's say uh, here is a case A, some statements are here, case B, some statements are here and let's say default, let's say default, okay? And in our switch statement, in our switch statement, we have A. So A will match with this case A, Yes, it is true. If it is true, it will execute that uh, that block. It will execute that block as well as it will execute this block as well as default uh, case would always be executed because no break statement is here. Let's say if I will use break here, then my program, my switch case statement would uh, end here and it would not going to print whatever statements are written under default. Or if I am using break here, then whatever statements are written under case B and bottom side would not going to be executed only it would going to execute it like here. But let's say if my switch B means if B case is here, then I will only going to execute this block. Okay. Uh, so this is the switch case statement. Now, uh, if you are going to see the flow chart, then the flow chart is like uh, some expressions are there. That expression should be evaluated. Let's say if expression is one, if expression is one, whatever code block is written, that is going to be executed. And thereafter, we will going to execute the next part of the program. Let's say here one is not there, here is two. So in that case, we are going to execute whatever written in the block two. Let's say here it is not two, here it is three. Then we are going to execute this block. But let's say here nine is there. 
So case one, case two, and case three is here. Nine is not here. In that case, if nothing is matching with any case statement, we are going to default one. Default one means if case one true, we are going to execute this. If case two is means if our expression is matching with the constant of case, this case, this block is going to be executed. If our expression is matching with like three, it would be going to execute this. But if our expression is not matching with any case, in that case, uh, default uh, statements would be executed, right? And thereafter, uh, we are going to next part of the program, right? So this is the basic flowchart diagram for switch case statements. Some important points you can note. The expression can be integer expression like one, two, likewise that, or a character expression like A, B, C, or A, B, C, or X, Y, Z, right, like that. Case label always end with a colon. Uh, here you can see here, uh, case statements like that, this. This case statement, let's say case A, then it must end with colon. It must end with colon, right? And, uh, each of these cases is associated with a block. I mean, if case A is true, some statements are there which are going to be executed if that case is true. Likewise, that so they are associated with some block. Uh, the default statement is optional. At the last, uh, we have here that uh, default statement. Uh, this is optional. Optional means if we want to execute, let's say this is not true, this is not true. In that case, uh, something is executed, but uh, if we have concerned only specific things that if we have four cases only, then case one, case two, case three, and case four. Likewise, that means we don't have any other thing to execute other than that. Here, we will not use default, right? So that is a that is a optional. Means if there is a need, we can use. If there is not need, we not, we are not going to use that. Okay. Uh, even if the switch case statement do not have a default statement, it would run without any problem. I said to you, right, that uh, if there is a need to use that uh, default, you must use. But if there is not need, no need, you, 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 you can ignore that. And if you do not use break, all statements after matching level are executed. I already told you that let's say here break is not there, here break is not there. In that case, let's say this case is true. Then all the statements uh, bottom at the bottom side of this part would be executed until unless we are getting break. If you are not getting break, all the statements, all the cases would be executed. Okay. And uh, next one is there can be only one default level, right? We can't use like default one, default two, like that. Only one default means if some cases are there, they are if they are if our uh, expression is matching with that, that is good. But if our expression is not matching with that, in that case. Default is executed. Default is only unique, only one. And we can nest multiple switch statements. Uh, we already learned about nesting means if we are, we can use, let's say case one, under that we can further use switch case, right? Because uh, there might be thing that uh, there may be need of nesting structures. So we can use switch case under switch case, no problem. So these are some important points. Uh, let's uh, see an uh, important example of switch case statement so that you can uh, grasp this more clearly. Uh, here is a program header file added there after uh, integer is there, uh, variable x is declared uh, whose value is assigned as a two and it is integer type. So uh, this uh, this expression, it will hold the value two because x is of value two, the value two is assigned to x. So this x will hold the value two means switch two. In that case, this case two will be executed. So what would be printed as output choice is two choice is two it would get output in output screen we are going to see that thereafter break is there break is there so our program would uh, break here terminate here and return zero would be there means our program would execute it and choice is two would be executed let's say break is not here break is not here and break is not here in that case choice is two would be printed Thereafter, choice is three would be printed. Thereafter, choice other than one, two, and three should be printed. If we are not using this break, we use break just to terminate that particular case. Okay. So, why do we need a switch case? I already told you that if there are more number of choices, more number of decisions, in that case, uh, by using a else ladder, uh, programmer may get confused that which else is which else is relation with with which f which if, and there might be some complexity. So to easier the complexity, we are using switch because here the clarity is more that if that case is there, if this is the condition, we are going directly to that case, right? Like that. So the solution is switch case. And let's revise what we have 
learned in this lecture. A switch is a decision making construct in C programming language. A switch is used in a program where multiple decisions or choices are involved. I already told you. A switch must contain an executable test expression, right? Means uh, if case one is true, thereafter some statement should be there that must be executed if that statement is matching with our constant expression of given. Case level must be constant and unique. I already told you we can't use case A and again case A. A case A should be unique. Means whatever cases we are declaring, like like case one, case one. So case one should be unique. Thereafter, we can't use case one. Yeah, we can declare case two, case three, case four, likewise. That, but case one is declared, so it can't be repeated. Right? And the default is optional. I already told you that in the bottom part we use default. It is uh, optional that uh, that work when the case no, no case will be matched with the given constant expression. In that case, that default will be used. But it is optional. Let's say we have only four choices or three choices. We can declare case A, case B, case C. We don't have any other switches. In that case, you do not need to use uh, default. It is optional. And multiple switch statements can be nested within each other. I already told you, you can use switch within switch and work according to your uh, logic and requirement. So these are the some of the important uh, points and a brief summary of a switch case statement and some knowledge. I hope it is clear to you. Further, if you have any kind of doubt or query in any kind of uh, any part of our lecture, you can ask me definitely. And do subscribe our YouTube channel, like the video so that you can in future also you can get instantly notification whenever we are going to upload a technical lecture. Have a very nice day, guys. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.